going to do, and there was nothing to be gained by going 100 freestyle again. And it also impacts the, the backstroke swim double. Uh, the swim yesterday, we were looking for a new challenge, something else to do. And the night, um, we feel like someplace in the future that's going to be a real good event for him. That's really the first. Uh, that's the first 100 butterfly he swam in any sort of national college. I don't even think he swam the 100 fly junior national or senior. He swam it once at the short course worlds on a relay. So that, that's I'm real pleased to see him. Just say about a guy that he can pull that. He never has done it. I mean, he came close to 300 off of the Olympic three tenths off of the Olympic spot. I think he's. Um, that's kind of might be where the future is. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. planning on continuing swimming. He gets a little older. Uh, his body may not handle the pounding it takes for the 400 IM. Yeah. And in that dynamic, I, I do think that. There's enough speed and a little extra work in that area to get some hundreds of the strokes for him. When do you think he'll probably contest that 100 fly again? Will it be next year, maybe for World Championships? Um, we're just trying to get through this year right now. <laughs> that was you know, one step at a time. We know it's a future and we want a little, but he probably wouldn't have swum it had we even made it. That, that's not, we would have thought about it, but it, it, that triple um, yesterday, he, is there's still some relays the last couple of days of the meet and that triple. Uh, well, you know it's coming. It might take a little off the 200 IM. We don't want to take that risk. How do you feel about his times overall? Oh, they're good. They're real good. Mm -hmm. uh, for where we're at and what we're planning on doing here, we're, we're very pleased with where we're at. How do you feel about the times overall? Um, I think it's good. It was a long meet. Um, we were talking a little bit tonight. Uh, you know, in some ways, our trials is more pressure than what the Olympics is. I think the other countries where they get to qualify a little bit easier, a little softer, or even a little bit earlier, they're going to face the same pressure we faced here. So uh, it's, it's a good group of folks, nice picture of newcomers and, and experienced people, and we'll get better in the next few weeks. Michael talks a lot about, you know, I barely put this up a year and a half ago, I don't like my times, my turns were crappy. I mean, considering he talks, you'd be surprised if he did so well this week. Um, oh. How do you think Ryan stacks up right now? They're two really, really good athletes. They might be the two best. And um, I would say that I don't believe either one is satisfied with where they're at at the moment, and that's a good thing because this is not the end all. The limit of the, the limit of Ryan depend on the first day, the front or mid lane, change after the first day. It's an eight-day swimming. Each day is important. I don't think anyone is, you know, it's nice if you get off and get rolling the first day, but, you know, he swam horrible the first day four years ago and was fine the rest of the meet, so we're not much concerned about it. Each day is what it is. There was a concern, uh, or he, Ryan said he's not fully tapered for the meet. Is there ever really a concern about you know not being fully rested for a meet of this this magnitude? Um, this is a step along the way, and it's a big step. I mean, great competition. So you, there, there's a level of preparedness. Uh, there was never any real concern. We were pretty content with where we were the whole time. Um, a little concern in the middle of the season when you're not where you want to be, but that's about corrections. Great. What have you worked on swimming all the events? Oh, yeah. Well, I, I, all the relays or all the yeah, events? all the relays. Um, yeah, he's the best guy ever. If, uh, if we have the luxury of not swimming in the relays, we're, we're really lucky. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you expect him to swim all five of his individual To my knowledge, he's kind of doing that. Yeah, I would think right. that he is. They kind of throw a little doubt, but of course they also said he wasn't going to swim <laughs> anymore in the Olympics. So. Uh, he, he, he performed really well. I think. He kept me fine. What kind of uh, improvements can Ryan make? From, I'm sorry, I didn't catch What kind of improvements can Ryan make between now and, and anything in particular? Uh, our legs still aren't very sharp. He's going to mm -hmm. get a little better around the walls. Um, he was um, he was pretty sloppy around, obviously, a couple finishes, maybe a little bit of a country club type finish tonight. He wasn't as good as he needs to be. But again, no, no experience <laughs> in that area. Um, but the way he builds into some races, technical issues, and he needs a little more rest. I'll get a shot this up. Ryan have a swimming on that uh, four by one hundred. I know y'all, you, you know, didn't want what one. I guess did the prelims right drop. Yeah, we'll we'll make that decision on the fly as we see what we see, what we see in camp and we're at. It's a fifty one six butterfly. He was some pretty good freestyle. Mm -hmm. Does, does he, what would they bring to the, you know? We know the Aussies right now. We were talking about you're kind of where you were in 08, but you know, obviously the time wise was like the strongest four by one hundred. But what do you think it would mean if you? You know, you did put together a relay, at least from a psychological point of view, that had the two greatest swimmers in the world on it. Uh, that, how much would that play into it, just a, a psychological way, I guess, uh, for the team? You know, for a lot, you know, Phelps are standing out there on the deck with a couple of the guys. I would rather have the two greatest 100 freestylers on it than the two greatest swimmers. So I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I think that, you know, 
at, at that level, there's not much of an intimidation factor in the 100 free. Everyone who won the blocks in the 100 free they'll, uh, thinks they're pretty good, mm -hmm. and they will all be good. Talk about the decision to put um, Elizabeth Weisel in so many events this week, you know, especially that 400 free. Uh, you know, was that something that she she said, you know, I wanted some a lot of events just to keep fresh, or was it just what, or was there a, a belief that there was a chance she could make the team in the 400? Uh, she's she's a lot like Ryan. The more she races, the better she gets, and she does have a little problem with nerves sometimes. So we felt like the more times we put her up, the more comfortable she would become. Um, also, a little bit of a training factor. You, you finish this meet and and you've raced four, six days of the eight. We've had a really great training session. And everyone coming out of this that's uh, is a multiple event swimmer, this was um, six days of really great quality, quality training. You can't beat it. If you put Elizabeth in all those events because she battles nerves, why do you put Ryan in all the events? He loves to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and, is it true that Janet Evans deserves a huge assist on Connor Dwyer being a Gator? Janet Evans is very close to the Dwyer family, and she gave me some real good recommendations. Did you? Did she need to give you more than one recommendation before yes, you I got believed several. her? <laughs> <laughs> we had kind of a large group this summer he trained with us, and we weren't, uh, we weren't really looking for any other people. When did you know he was capable of doing what he's done this week? Uh, after, his, um, after his junior year of college, he mm -hmm. showed some real good racing mistakes. That's kind of good. He runs in different stages, you know, as you say, you haven't rested um, Ryan fully for this and so What does he do now? Does he go back, does he go back to any heavy, really heavy stuff now? Or, or is it maintenance and then into tape? Or, 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 what happens? Well, some, some kids have been saying, you know, go back in to do some weights and stuff and it's very close now. We will touch the weight to tune up, but we right. won't. it will be nothing like it would be normal season. Right. And then none of the fancy stuff. Um, it's not going to be a we'll, change. No, 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 no. no, no. It'll be very basic stuff. The kind of stuff I do to stay fit, not the kind of stuff he does. So um, we'll um, just enough to kind of tune up, and uh, we'll we'll go back and refresh your aerobic end a little bit for a few days.